Hi there. Recently, somebody asked me a question. Why do companies lose clients? I'm going to give you my own answer in a moment. My name is Bumi Toko. Let's get straight into that question. Why do companies lose clients or customers? Well, I think that question applies to both small companies and large companies. The reason why clients lose customers is at the point where a client complains. <laughs> when a client complains about a particular service that they've had or they're not happy about what service they've received, they complain and it's not handled properly, the client walks away. Let me give you the story of Lexus. When Lexus went into the U.S. market in the two, year 2000, thereabouts, when they entered that market, they created a product that they later found was defected. And they had sold 2,000 of those cars. You know what they did? They recalled those cars. And at a great expense, they repaired those cars. And there's a story told by Malcolm Gladwell that even there was a point where an engineer from Lexus traveled 2,000 miles to go to a client's house to repair the car. Guess what happened after that? They gained the loyalty and the respect of their customers. Today, as we speak, they are actually an established brand within that industry. How did they do that? When the customers complained, they handled it properly. So how can you continue to keep your customers? Number one, when a customer is upset with you, you need to listen. By listening, you begin to find out the true reason. Recently, a client called me up and she was complaining over the phone. Oh, have you made the application yet? When are you going to make the application? And I'm like, hang on a minute. We've just sent you some information. You're not going to respond it. I didn't, tell, I didn't say this like that, but in my mind, I was thinking, hang on. <laughs> you, you haven't even responded to the questions we have, we've asked you. So why are you complaining? And, you know, and she was saying, oh, and we're, we're working on our building project and we, we, we need the money so that we can finish our building project. I was thinking, all right. That's the reason she's complaining. Even though we were not raising funding for their building project, but she had relied on that money, perhaps, some of it, for the building project. So I quietly told her, I said, okay, I understand that, you know, you're a little bit stressed about your project, but I want to remind you that we are not making an application for you for your building project. And she was like, oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, well when are you going to make? But I'd already, I made the point. I found out by listening, I understood the real reason why she was being angry. She wasn't upset with us per se. We were just there for her to, for her to pick on. But the problem was she was stressed because they needed money for the building project that she was doing. So I understood by listening. You can only give the right response by listening. Number two, when a client complains, accept responsibility. If it's your fault, if you're at fault, throw your hands up. Don't say, oh, yes, um, it, it's our fault, but you, no, don't say that. Just say, you know what? It's our fault. We'll rectify it. We'll do our best. We'll sort it out. Thank you. We're so sorry. We apologize. Don't make any excuses. Just accept responsibility. Throw your hands up, accept responsibility, and then you can move forward. If you start making excuses as to why or how is their fault also, you're going to get in trouble. The client could walk away because they're angry at that time. So throw your hands up, accept responsibility if it's your fault, and move on. Number, number three, finally, do your best. Do what you can to rectify the situation. Just do your best to rectify the situation. 
A client comes to you with a complaint, the next best thing you can do is to try and alleviate that situation. Just solve the problem. If we follow this principle of number one, listening well, number two, accepting responsibility, and finally, doing our best to rectify the situation, I think will keep more clients than have them walk away. Bill Gates said something. I'm going to leave you with this. Bill Gates said, you learn more from your failure or you learn more from those who are upset with you that tell you than those who just simply walk away. I hope you know that when a client is unhappy with you, they tell an average of 10, 15 people. And those that are happy with you without prompting may only tell about four people. So you want to keep clients happy as much as you can. All right, then. If you like this video, then do like it. If you like it, do share it. <laughs> and also do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and better ones to come too. God bless you.